Welcome to part three of our how to build an EXS kit from scratch tutorial. Um, this time we're going to show you how to add multiple samples in one go. So if we open up our downloaded samples which we got from Gold Baby, again we can see we've got this huge list so we need a way to narrow it down. Um, in this particular example we're going to load up some Tom parts. Um, in OS X 10.5, Apple have added this new feature called Quick View, which also works with audio files. So if you click on an audio file and then hit the space bar, it brings up a preview of it. If you want to shut that preview window, just hit the space bar again. So basically what I'm looking for is three toms here, which I can put together in one folder to make the toms I need for my new kit. So I'm going to create a new folder out here on the desktop which I do by pressing the shift key the Apple key and the N key I'm just going to call this folder Tom so I know what I'm looking at so again looking at their naming scheme you've got the originals uh, so I think we'll stick with those and we want a high a medium and a low from those originals so Tom high one two three or four So we'll pick four, close that window and drag that to our Tom's folder. And then we'll take its middle partner. And finally, we're looking for the low to go with that as well. So Tom low original, and there's the R4 one again. Okay, let's drag that to our folder. Now if we go back to Logic and our EXS24, and bring the edit window to the front again, and this time we're going to go for load multiple samples, which is the second option down again in the zone menu. So we'll browse back to our desktop, then to Tom's, and if we just click down here, add all, we don't need to listen to them this time because obviously we audition them using the quick look feature and done. So it now gives us some options which are auto map by reading the root key from the audio file. Well, that's not particularly relevant in this case because obviously it's a drum sample, it's unpitched. So we've got drums, zone without range, root key from audio file, which would be dependent on whether there is a root key in the audio file, or contiguous zones, which basically means one after the other. Uh, what we'll do here is we'll do drum zones without range. So it's brought those three in and it's put them all on the C3 key for us, which obviously isn't that useful. Uh, so we now need to drag them to where we want them. So I'm just going to disable the pitch. Move that so we can hear it. Well, that's the high one, so we'll put that on the highest key. I think that was the medium. So we'll put that on the medium key and then the low. And we've got our three toms loaded much quick, more quickly than if we'd done it the other way that I showed you earlier. And we've got them all in a group together. Uh, so we can name them like we did earlier or name the group like we did earlier. Toms. Again, I'm just going to have a save because we've already named it. We don't need to give it a name, so we can just select save from the instrument menu and that'll save over what we've already got there, but with the addition of our new files. And that's the end of part three. Uh -huh.